A fixed prosthesis is a restoration or replacement which is attached to natural teeth, roots or implants by a cementing medium. Before that, tooth have to be prepared which depends on five basic principles. And they are preservation of tooth structure, retention and resistance, structural durability, marginal integrity and preservation of periodontium. Today, we shall cover principle of retention and resistance. To be simple, retention factor prevents removal of restoration along the path of insertion or long axis of tooth preparation, where resistance factor prevents dislodgement of restoration by occlusal forces or any force directed in an apical or oblique direction. Hence, both forms are interrelated. The opposing vertical surfaces of tooth preparation gives two kinds of retention. One is veneer or sleeve retention given by external facial and lingual walls prepared for extracoronal restoration. Another one is wedge retention which resists displacement by internal facial and lingual walls utilized by intracoronal restoration. So, these opposing external and internal vertical surfaces having certain important features which provides retention and resistance and now we have a detailed view of it. The axial walls of preparation must have slight taper to permit the restoration to seat. To be simple, in the occlusal direction, two opposing external walls must gradually converge or two opposing internal walls must diverge. We can retrieve from this graph as taper decreases, retention increases. So, minimal taper along with greater surface area of teeth provides good retention. Retention can be enhanced by limiting number of pads along which a restoration can be removed from the tooth preparation. A full veneer preparation with long parallel axial walls and grooves gives such kind of retention. But in the case of short over tapered preparation gives least retention because restoration could find infinite paths for removal. Thus maximum retention is achieved where there is only one path of removal. In a groove, twisting forces produce rotating movement of the restoration due to nil resistance as because the groove wall meets the axial wall at an oblique angle. Hence, there must be a definite wall perpendicular to this direction of force to limit the freedom of displacement ultimately providing adequate resistance. Similar way, a proximal box with oblique facial and lingual walls with its pulpal floor won't be having adequate resistance to rotating forces. It should meet at near 90 degree, so these wall would be perpendicular to rotational force with greater resistance. Longer preparation, obviously having more surface area, will be more return to. And also tipping forces are overcome by length and inclination of the axial wall. Hence, the role of resistance also should be considered for length of preparation. So, occlusogingival length is more important for both retention and resistance. The length should be good enough to interfere with arc of the casting to be pivoted about a point on the margin on the opposite side of restoration. Shorter axial wall can resist this pivoting and it can be overcome by giving grooves as it reduces rotational radius and interfere with displacement. There are many situations we can't depend only with taper on opposing axial walls as written to feature. Just in cases of previously damaged wall, walls with more than needed inclination, leaving the wall uncovered for partial coverage, we can utilize internal features such as box forms, grooves, pinholes which are prepared on the axial walls. Finally, path of insertion. It is an imaginary line along which a restriction will be placed onto or removed from the preparation. So, the first step is to survey undercuts which may interfere with insertion. The right method is weaving the occlusal surface of preparation with one eye at a distance of approximately 30 cm where it is possible to side down the axial walls of preparation with minimal taper. But if examined with both eyes open, undercut may remain undetected. The next step is to survey the preparation in the mouth with the help of mouth mirror. It is held at an angle of approximately half an inch above the preparation and weaved with one eye. Path of insertion should be parallel to the long axis of tooth facial lingually. And in the case of mesiodistal inclination, path must be parallel to the contact areas of adjacent teeth or else the restoration will be prevented from seating resulting in locked out state. By accomplishing aforementioned factors while preparing tooth, we can achieve successful retention and resistance for fixed prosthesis. Thanks for watching. Hope you will like my video. 
Please share, subscribe and comment.